Howdy and hello and welcome back to Mike's Game Domain and welcome back to ARK Single Player. So I would actually really like to tackle another cave. Um, it's been something I've been kind of putting off dealing with resetting the ARK and crashes and new creature releases and kind of the whole thing that I've been dealing with. So anyway, um, it's been on my to-do list for a little bit of a, a little bit of a while. So I've actually armored up in um, my metal gear. Oh, I, I didn't realize I had the... Uh, the T-Rex hat on, that's okay. Kind of don't like it, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really care for it. Um, I did go ahead and switch the items and blueprints. You can see that the items vault now has blueprints in it. Let's actually rename that. And vice versa. Because as I, uh, as we looked at last time, the, um, oops, let's separate those two. Can we do that? There we go. Um, as we looked at last time, the placement was just backwards. Oh, this is already items. Huh, I guess I renamed it, but I didn't rename the other one. Whatever. So away we go. We're going to grab Ash here. Now, as far as locations go, I only know of one other um, cave. I've only found one other cave. What is that? Is that a parasaur? Oh, I have a parasaur? Huh, I didn't realize that. Um, the other cave that I know of is over here at the, um, Predator Island. Ooh, I just thought of something. I'm gonna have to kill the Predators so that they don't attack my guys. Oh, I meant to try to build... I don't think I have the materials. I was gonna see how the shotgun, uh, how it does in caves. It seems like it would be the right weapon for caves. But, um, hmm, what can I do here? Holy god, 76... You know what I think I might try? Since I have fast taming anyway. Hmm, I was gonna say I could tame a couple carnivores and leave them as guardians to the entrance so that they don't so that things don't kill my pteranodon. But that's a lot of extra work. Uh, how do I wanna deal with this? Oh, can I leave it up here? Will it will it not Ah Land? Will it be okay? Will you be okay right there, man? I don't know. Oh, I didn't even bring a bow or arrows. <laughs> oh, man. All I brought was a pike. Um, oh, I don't even know. I'm just so worried about Argentavises. Oh, this is precarious. I'm worried about Argentavises um, attacking the whatchamacallit. I think I have those already, but might as well grab it. All right, so let's do some murdering. Saver. Yeah, I have a really strong pike here. Ha! There we go. Actually, now that I think about it, I could probably get what I need. Oh my god. That's scary. Um, I could probably get what I need just from just from killing titan bows and things as far as... Uh, I, maybe I'll craft a bow and arrow. What? Nope. Forgot to grab the inventory. Wow, this pike is incredibly strong. Alright, so what do I need for a bow? I should have everything at this point. A bow, 39 arrows. Perfect. We just fine. Don't need that, don't need that. I could build a fireplace, actually. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be using these shotguns, so... Uh, let's build a fireplace real quick. Why didn't I grab a cooked meat? I just built an industrial grill the last episode. Ugh, I'm, I'm silly. Alright, anyway, let's just go to the cave. Oh god. Uh, pike, 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 not hatchet, pike. Okay. Nice. Doing good. Oh, you're stuck. I tame you. All right, where's the cave entrance? I thought it was over here, but are you still good? Yeah, you're good up there. Cool. Glad that worked out. Ah, there it is over there, <laughs> right by that T-Rex. All right, stuff's heavy. Should I get rid of the... No, I can't get rid of the shotgun because um, I picked it up in a drop, and I don't think I have the ability to build it. And it's a ramshackle. Hmm... Let's call you down. Let's see if I can leave it here, like in this protected rock area. The reason I actually wanted to call it down was... 
to pass along the shotgun and some of the things that I don't think I'll need. Um, yeah, I think I'll need the rest of that. Let's see. If I leave you there, will you be okay? And I hope so. I do not want to go pteranodon hunting again. I've done enough of that in this game. Rexy, I should be able to take it out. I have my damage boosted a bit for the purpose of taming. Oh, this is a fast. Oh yeah, three arrows. Good to go, man. Oh wait, hang on just a second. And I'm back, sorry about that. Just had to take care of uh, something for the light. Alright, so we are doing just fine. We have tons of meat. kind of want to get a... Um, how am I doing it? Harvesting with the pike. Somewhat of a waste of its durability, don't you think? I do. Kinda wanna get a um Even though I have a cooking pot back at home, I kinda wanna get a campfire going. What else will I need? I never know. Flint. Let's just grab a bunch of stone. I don't remember if I can build a campfire in the cave. I don't think so. I don't think it actually lets you do that. Yeah, let's try that again. Let's build a couple campfires just in case. Let's build a sleeping bag or two. Or three. Let's build... Um, more arrows? Why not? What else did I want to build? There was something else. Um, gosh, I can't remember now. Oh, yeah. Some, like, basic foundations. Because I believe if there's weird jumps and stuff, you can place... Uh, you can place foundations down to actually help you navigate the cave. So that will be this one. Let's just get all that... Oops. <laughs> Cleared the crafting queue. That was dumb. That one. And that should do it. I'll grab some extra 16. Yeah, why not? Now, one thing that I do know is that you now have the ability to throw torches down on the ground. Here, I'm going to place one of these near the entrance here. I think this is the entrance, yeah. Start cooking meat. Um, so I have cooked meat ready to go. And I thought I heard a saber tooth, sorry. Oh my god, I am walking so effing slow. Oh, you know what? Thatch foundations get heavier as you build them. They're one of the only things that does that, which is really annoying. Uh, what should I burn? I guess some of my wood? Some of my thatch? I don't know. None of these are really good options. Uh oh. I guess wood. Let's get that cooking up. Um, I guess at this point I don't need the stone. Yeah... And let's place one of these down so I have it at the outside of the uh, thingy. All right, let's go check it out. Um, six. All right, so I believe you can now... Yeah, you can now throw your torches. Oh, did I craft all those torches? Wait, did I craft, like, 30 torches? Oh, wait, I need wood for torches. Ugh, dummy dum-dums. I need stone and wood. Threw away all my stone and I burnt my wood. Stone and wood. All right, so I'm not gonna craft all the torches. I'll craft them as I go. Crap. Um, I don't think I need that much stone. Dang it. <sighs> it's been it's been a little while since I played, so I'm not as quick at this as I would. Alright, so there's that. Now we can move at least. Let's grab a few berries. They'll be useful later on. I guess we'll grab some more stone too. It's okay that I'm overburdened. I don't really need to go super fast. Yeah, look at that. So the torch can be used to actually light up an area in the caves since you can't lay down campfires. And I believe you can pick them up. Nice. That is cool. So I could leave like a trail of torches. Actually, I could leave a trail of torches so that I don't get lost. I'll be able to tell which areas I've been to before. That's really smart. Although I don't know how long they last. Uh, this looks like a dead end. Let's craft another torch. Do 
put it there so I can see it. Oh, it's like floating in there. That's cool. Craft another torch. We'll kind of put him at the junction. See, I can tell that's the way out. Oh, that's super obvious. That's awesome. So that's great that they did that. Let's throw that down. Wait, what happened? That's weird. It got thrown down, but it wasn't lit. Oh. Huh. I guess it's too wet right here. Oh, man. Is that water? Oh, crap. Okay. Well, I can't be overburdened in the water, so... I guess we'll drop... We'll drop that. That's 30 weight gone. Okay, I'm still I'm still not at full movement speed, but I'm certainly better. Okay, so there's some um, crystals, which I don't need, and they'll just make me heavy. Crap, where do I go? Up? Up. <laughs> Up is always a good bet. Is this back where I was? I can... No, this is new. Okay. You know what? It's not actually that dark in here. That's nice. I don't necessarily need the... Wow. Wow, that's a long way down. Is that water down there? Oh, look! Artifact! Um, yeah, well, I can't really jump down, so... Okay, well, that's good to know. At least I know where it is. You know what? I wonder if there is water. Can you just jump down into the water off this thing? Like a shortcut? Oh, God, I'm afraid. Okay, that appears to be rocks, 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 and it's pretty much all rocks down there. Unless that's water and I'm seeing through it, but it's so hard to tell. Maybe it's got some kind of jaggedy lines. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Um, something to think about when we get down there to look at. So can I drop the torch down here? Because that would be fantastic. No. Interesting. Interesting that it doesn't let you do that. Um, okay, well. Say lovey. There's no bad guys. Oh, there's some bats. Okay. Huh. I wish it let you do that. Um. Oh, man. That's crazy that it's right there. Alright, I believe you can actually just make all these jumps. I'm a little bit burdened, though. I'm a little worried about that. I think I'm just going to get rid of the stone and wood. No, that's more torches. Oh, well. I don't care. Uh, it doesn't seem like they really let you use the torches anyway. Let's just see how this goes. Ah, you can place the thatch sort of in a kind of useful manner. Well, not really. Well, if I put it up here, then it blocks my jump back, so... Uh, it's kind of helpful right there. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That helped out a bit. Can I jump? Okay, good. Okay, I didn't even need it. Okay, good to know, though. There's another drop. There's some bats. Should be good. Beautiful. That looks like a long jump right there. Hopefully I don't need to actually do that. Let's see what's over here. Some more precarious jumping. Oh god. Ugh. Okay, so that's... Is that a makeable jump? And where does it go? Oh, that looks like a shortcut. Because that goes all the way around. So this, if this is a makeable jump, Appears to be somewhat of a shortcut. Let's go for this again, just to see. Uh, oh, you know what I should have brought? Is roofs, because those can attach. I don't think this can attach, no. Yeah, I should have brought a roof. Can I make a roof? I don't think I can, I threw away everything. Oh well, for next time, now I know. That seems, that seems good. Let's go for it, yeah, that's doable. Is it doable back? I think so. Oh, hello. Um, 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 um. Spider. I can't see. Oh. First time I killed the spider since I've reset the arc. Oh, no! I don't have... <laughs> I don't have that other artifact that I already got. I just thought about that. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? I hear the noise. I don't know. I don't see anything. Well, whatever. Okay, so I get to go redo that other cave that I did already. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, well. The caves are cool. This actually looks really nice. I I think they've done some work on these to prove them, because, uh, unless, I mean, I've just never been down here. This looks really cool. I mean, you feel in a big cavern. Whoops. Yeah, with this pike, I should be good to go against any enemies. Oh, Topor, though. I didn't bring stimulants. Um, oh, I want to use the grenade, though. 
I don't really want to be picking up a lot of meat off the enemies because um, I don't have that much carry weight to go for. Oh god, 92? Are you serious? Is that necessary? <sighs> really? It would be a good one to tame. How's my toe for? Ah, oh, it's not that bad at all. Famous last words. <laughs> it looks like that's the way down. I don't know where that goes. Oh, that goes back around. What am I doing? This appears to be the right way. Jump. Yeah, we're on our way down now. Goody gumdrops. I'd be dropping torches, but, uh, oh. Oh, well. Uh, I could, I could have been wrong. I mean, it's definitely happened before. Um, is that a jump? Oh my god, that is a jump. Holy cow, is that for real? That doesn't even look like it's doable. Um, is that for real? I think that is for real. Oh, did not enjoy that. My stomach just like literally knotted up. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Well, that's awesome. I mean, good job developers making that like very scary looking. Come on. Really? Am I not hitting you at all? There we go. Okay, go away, dossier. How many arrows? Okay, I got 41 arrows left. I'm fine. At least I can one-shot the bats since I have extra damage from when I was taming. Ooh, what's that? Blue drop. Oh, that's you. <laughs> it's like, what's making that humming noise? Ooh, ooh, journeyman bike! Holy god! One hundred and sixty percent damage. One hundred three durability. Nice. Oh, that is brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Ark. I will take it. Nice. Okay. Cool beans. That's awesome. Oh, look, we're practically down there now. You know, this cave wasn't that hard. I mean, the jumps were a little weird. Ooh. Ooh. If I jump down, is there a way back? Oh my god, there's a lot of spiders. Can they climb the walls? I bet they can. Can you guys climb the walls? Actually, I don't think so. Interesting. Oh wait, is this the way down? There's just metal in the way? Oh crap, I think so. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I think I'm going to harvest this metal and then throw it away just to get rid of it. Yeah, that was just in the way there. Well, that's a silly place to put that. Cool, no problem. That should be fine until that respawns. Alright, so there's the artifact. Kind of want to deal with the uh, spiders over there. This is how bow and arrow should be. I think normally it takes like eight arrows to kill these things, which is ridiculous. Yeah, 116. Hell yeah. Now I feel powerful. I mean, you feel good when you have damage up like this. It's great. What's over here? Nothing. A whole lot of nada. That looks like oil. Alright, let's go get the artifact. I wonder which one it is. I actually have no idea. Wow, this is a huge cave. This is awesome. So, one thing to think about. It, oh, there's inventories. I did not know that y'all had inventories. I will take that. Thank you. Spiders have inventories, that's good to know. I wouldn't think, normally the bigger things have it, not uh, smaller creatures like these. Getting a lot of arrows. Yeah, oops. Sorry about that. Getting a lot of arrows and not a lot else, but that's fine. I don't really need anything at this point. Artifact of the Devourer. Oh, cool. Found at the bottom of a pit in the island where predators reign. Five carry weight. That's cool, man. This game is so cool. It's sometimes, like, it's insanely cool. Alright, so, wow, look at the glow on that. Wah, wah, wah. It's so alien, like, just emits, like, power. It's awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back up. You know what's crazy? This area was not uh, hot or cold at all. Uh, it could be the armor. I have some really good armor on. Um, but actually, no, it, it's not because um, it's metal armor, and metal armor actually makes you... Whoa. You're in the wall. 
All right, I'm not gonna mess with that. Is it 112? No, 12. Uh, metal armor actually, actually makes you more susceptible to hot and cold problems. Uh, you wouldn't think. I believe only cloth actually assists in dealing with temperature variance. Oh god, I didn't think I was gonna make that. That's that one. No, thank you. So, um, so if anything, this armor should be making it worse for me, which it's not. I think that was supposed to be a jump, and I just ran right over it. Whoops. Uh, oh, I needed to go up there. Okay, this is where that metal was that blocked it, I think. Can I get up there? Okay. God, there's a lot of metal and crystal down here. There's a lot of crystal. Um, oh. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, he got me. That was my toe pour. Eh, I'm not even going to worry about it. So far, it hasn't been an issue. Oh, hello. Um, oh man. Wait, is that a shortcut? I guess, I guess that's the long way. Whew, okay. Oh, we tore this one up. Oh, we might have to find another cave. Oh god, oh god. I did not like these jumps, man. They are awesome. They, they did a really good job with these jumps. I wonder if your movement speed isn't boosted enough, you just simply can't make the jumps. Oh, I gotta go back through the water. You know what? There wasn't anything in the water. Oh, I, I need to not say that out loud. There's no piranhas or anything. Sarcos. That's good. I feel like this cave should have been more populated than it was. Um, I'm happy about it because it was quite easy and uh, it was still really fun. Just the environment of this cave was really cool. Honestly. So there's my torches. Oh my god, that's bright. I'm on my way out. Um, pick up. Yeah. Oh, they're all glitching out. It's weird. Maybe they're not meant to be interesting. I might as well take them. Yay! Man, that feeling of going out of a cave back into the light is so satisfying. You're just like, oh, oh, sweet earth. Oh, yes. Thank you, plants. <laughs> um, well, I would pick up my stuff, my little campfire and everything, but I don't really see the point. Campfire. Cooked meat. Why not? Might as well grab that. Might as well grab the charcoal. Might as well just take all. And the sleeping bag, we'll just leave it there, you know? It's a fast travel. Oh god, those Argentavises are probably duking it out with my dude. My, Argent my um, Ash does not have strong attack abilities. I need to come back here for taming. I, I completely forget about this place whenever I'm looking for tames. But it's a really good spot for... Uh, I wonder if I can take on an Argentavis. It's a really good spot for finding Argentavises and other predators, T-Rexes and stuff. Save me a lot of time because I go up in the mountains to look for these things, and the mountains are terrible as far as navigating. I'm constantly falling and hurting myself, if not killing myself. Oh, that was fun. God, there's a bunch of them. What are you? What is it? Oh, frozen. Oof. All right, let's stop screwing around. Let's get the artifact back to base. How's my stamina? Stamina's awesome. Oh, I have a level up. Um, stamina's terrific. Health's not terrible. I think I just want to go for either weight or movement speed. You know, movement speed is fine. Let's go for weight. Oh, I got lots of levels. Nice. I must have leveling turned way up. There we go. 355. That's some decent weight for a Pteranodon. Actually, that's some excellent weight for a Pteranodon. 28. I could probably take it out, but who cares? Oh, let's get this drop. If we can, without pissing off the entire world. Oh my god, there's sabers everywhere! Oh, get out the pike! Get out the bloody pike! Oh, well that was not worth it at all. Also, where is my bird? I'm sure I could kill all this stuff, but... Oh, hello. Why bother? And you don't have to. See ya, suckers. <laughs> All right, so my base is that cliff. I love I love my base location because even when the stuff hasn't loaded in, like currently you can't see anything, that just formation is so recognizable. I can see it from a mile away, so it's great. Really enjoy that. What is that thing floating? Huh. Something in the building spawned in first. I want to say it was the... Hmm, I was going to say it was the feeding bin, but it might not have been. That's kind of silly. I don't know. Let's put the artifact away before I die and forget about it. Oh, let's also put away our awesome new blueprint blueprints. All right, so let's take a look. Do we have metal foundations? We do. Do we have metal doors? We do. Okay, no problem. It'll happen. 
I'm pretty sure we have crop plots. Medium, medium. God, they just really want you to... Nice, that is my pride and joy. Should I get rid of the ramshackle? 122 and 51. And the new one I got was... Better. I know it was better. Oh, it actually has less durability. But better damage. I think I would prefer better damage. These guys are basically burned up. No point in keeping them. Oh, the extra rocks. Okay, let's get the artifact put away. I think I'm going to put the artifacts with the blueprints because it's going to be easier to find them later on than mixing them in with um, the actual stuffs that I've built. You know what? Let's try to tackle another cave. Oh, you know what? We can go tackle the original cave, uh, the one that I've already done, because I know where that one is. It is... Oh, crap. Um, it's by the volcano, which is over there. Okay. Let's make our way over. Luckily, we have a pretty fast mount now. Let's check on that um, Giganto that was supposed to be set to aggressive, not passive. Still looks like he's pretty damaged. Um, is he on aggressive now? He is. Fantastic. I was wondering if maybe he defaults to passive after a while since he's like a big ape. Maybe they just like prefer to be passive or something. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. It seems like maybe I just set him up wrong in the first place. Always a possibility. Uh, no, I have that. And I'm positive I have that as well. All right, let's carry on to the volcano, which is... Is that it? That might be it right there. No, I think that's it way over there. God, it's far. Oh, well, whatever. Just enjoy the flight time. Please sit back for your in-flight movie of Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> if, you don't know how to see, if you don't know how to use a seatbelt yet, the uh, stewardess will be demonstrating that shortly. I think it's funny that they still demonstrate how to use seatbelts. Like, if you don't know at this point how to use a seatbelt, probably don't deserve to live. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say that, but kind of kind of feel that way. Also, how good is a seatbelt in a plane crash, honestly? Like, I feel like seatbelts are barely helpful for car wrecks. And in a crashing plane, maybe, I don't know. I feel like if you're going to go, you're probably just going to go in that situation. But who knows? I guess every little bit helps. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of frame lag. I think it just has to do with the fact that I'm zooming across the map super fast, so it's having to load in all the new entities like much quicker than the game probably expects. But yeah, game looks gorgeous still. Love it. I think there's been quite a bit of uh, performance updates as well. I think mostly regarding... What is that green? Is there a tree up here? It's just some one random tree. That's weird. And also, I'm getting mega lag. Is this the volcano? I don't think so. Oh, it is. Okay, so... So the so the thing was... Oh, there it is. You can see it. You can see it right there. See that big blank tear in the map? That's the, uh, that's the cave. The cave hole, if you will. Oh, take a poop. Nice one. All right, so I need a safe place to keep the pteranodon. I almost want to fly it into the cave. I don't know if you can or if that's a smart idea. I know there's a bunch of ants outside. Let's just see. Aha, you can. Whoa, whoa. Um, apparently you can fly it through the walls of the cave. Or, or, oh, oh man, I cannot get this thing stuck. Wow, I can fly this guy far. Oh my god, if I can fly this through the cave and just get to the bottom, holy god. I'm gonna be, I, I don't want to say it, I don't even want to say it's possible, because if it, oh my god. Ultimate cave cheat hack found forever and ever. Remember how the pteranodons can fly through those gaps in the walls? I think they made their hitbox tiny, and I think they can fly through a cave now. Well, there you have it. There's one cave beat. Oh my god, that's incredible. Where'd he go? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. Come here. Don't lose you. Oh my god. I just flew through the cave. That is amazing. I don't think I want to do that for other caves, but this is a cave I've already beat, so I don't really mind it. Oh my god, that's incredible. Oh, 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 just got hit by something. That is amazing! You can just turn it on through caves! Oh my god, it fits through the tiniest cracks. That's 
unbelievable. And I'm also lost, but oh, there's oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I just freaking sniped an artifact. Oh my god, did that just happen? Did that just freaking happen? Artifact of the clever. Oh god. Go away, go away, go away. Oh my god, that's so awesome. You've got to be kidding me. I really. Oh, go away. I gotta be careful, because actually, if I hit the Pteranodon with one blow of that, it's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill the Pteranodon. Alright, seriously, I need you to stop. I need you to... there. Oh, man. Oh, man, I hit him. I hit him with the spear. He almost died. I almost killed the Pteranodon. Oh, my god. Wow. So this guy can just fly through caves. Well, that cave, at least. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. That is the greatest thing ever. Ever, ever, ever. I'm tempted to go see if he could have flown through that other one. But uh, at this point, it's not really important. What is important is not letting him die. So let's do some of that fun stuff first. So he's eating away. I think they actually eat now to restore their own health. No, his food's low. Let's see. Let's see if his food gets maxed out, but his health is still low. Will he eat to save his own life? That's what I want to know. Because it makes sense that I don't... I mean, I shouldn't have to manually do the whole thing remote use. If there's food on his body and he can revive himself, I feel like he should go ahead and do it. I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll burn up the food, no doubt, but still. A hungry pteranodon is better than a dead pteranodon. So we're at... We're almost there. Yep. Is he eating still? No, he stopped. Okay, so he only eats enough to fill up the food. That's too bad. I feel like that would be a nice uh, bit of automation to not have to do this double click a million times for the sake of revival. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm so excited. That's so awesome. Oh. This is where the wooden fort was. My big base that took me a million years to build. There's my land bridge right there. There's all the freaking dino spawns that like destroyed my frame rate constantly and destroyed my base constantly. Yep, yeah, look at that. Can't even... Was that a Dodicarus? I haven't seen many since I got that one. Oh, Titan of Mirrors. Yep, I don't, I don't know. The sun glares are so bright I can't see anything. There's a raptor, I see him. Huh. Yeah, honestly, I haven't really found Dodicruses since uh, since those first one or two. Do I even have one at the base? I can't remember now. What is that? A trike? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to keep my eyes out, because I do need to tame another one. You know what? I've never built the saddle. And I think you can do some crazy rolly movement thing with them, which I've never done because I don't have a saddle yet. So that's what we're going to do, and then that'll be the end of the episode. I want—I really want to check out the uh, the saddle for the Dodicarus. Oh, this is where Roy's Plateau is. Oh my god, so much hard work building that thing. Alright, I'm not going to lament every single base, but that seriously was a cool base, man. My current castle is better. Far better. I mean, it's metal for crying out loud. Actually, where am I going? I don't even know. I'm at the blue thing. Uh, I want to say just north of the blue thing is where I go. It should be on the other side of this mountain, maybe? I could probably check the map, but who wants to do that? I don't need a map. I'm a man. I inherently know my way around. <laughs> Slash get lost constantly. Oh, there's... Okay, so it's over there. There's Predator Island. Here's my metal base. My little tiny metal base. Kind of scanning the ground for Dodicaruses. If you're wondering why I'm kind of floundering, that's why. Dodicaruses? Dodicari? Dodicari? Sounds like a dirty word. <laughs> the Dodicari. The plurus for Dodicarus. Dodicarus. Probably Dodicarus. Dodicarus just sounds odd. I don't know. Who knows? It's not like the things are still alive, we can ask how to say their name. 
How did you get damaged? Everything just gets damaged constantly. It's weird. Um, Tyranidon? Oh god, scared me, just popped out of nowhere. Alright, we're almost back to base. Let's drop off the, uh, the new, old, new, um, artifact. That's so awesome. I cannot believe I was able to fly through it. Yeah, they definitely adjusted the hitbox on this thing, and just, you can just fly right through the tightest, narrow spaces. Actually, now, uh, how do you do it? How do you do it? Control, C, C. <gasps> I think that even lets you get through more narrow, even more narrow stuff. The little, the little uh, barrel roll. Oh my god, that's so cool. Why, why don't I do that way more than I do? Like, that's so cool. Oh look, this might be how they glitch through the walls. What's wrong with you, man? Look, is he gonna go through? I don't know. Why is he doing that? Stop. You're free. You're f look at all this space you have and friends. Ooh, what's that? Oh, whoops. Yeah, uh, flyers don't really love the water. Hi, little buddy. Got some berries. Holy cow, that's a huge egg. Spino egg. Carno. Spinos. Oh, that's slimy. Yeah, this thing is insane. What's the damage on it? Like 1,200 or something? 777%. Guy killed everything. I'm actually now just kind of scoping out for eggs, because... Oh yeah, let's go get... Wait, do I have a Dodicarus? A couple things I need to look at. Really? Uh, do I have a Dodicarus? I don't think I do. Big Tiger... Giganto... This is the only problem with uh, <laughs> having the wildlife preserve is I don't really have like I can't like make like a roll call and just oh Dodicarus right there oh yeah oh he's a cutie um let's have you follow me let's get on the bird let's get on the bird no no no. I'm guessing the Dodickers can't go that fast. You know what? Does it roll whenever you have it follow you? I don't think it does. That would be cool. Oh, wow, that thing's fast. Oh, I must have boosted its movement speed like crazy town. Come on. Yeah, they're not normally that fast. No, nah, it's not rolling. That'd be really cool if it would roll to keep up with you. That would be amazing. All right, so let's have him come up here. Let's, uh, can you even go? Wait, where am I? Okay, I'm in the... Ugh. Ugh. That was amazing. That, uh, that cave was amazing. Ridiculous. Come on up, buddy. Yeah, he's got movement speed crazy high. Come on up here. Come on, keep coming. Oh, I forgot you're following me. Uh, you can chill. You cannot chill. Come on. Oh, it's mega dark. And the dark's over. Yeah, I have... Oops, you're turned off. Oh, you're done. I need to preserve those before they die. How long does it last? So it's got 16 minutes, and it jumps to 2 hours and 45 minutes. So it's a big difference, but not the craziest thing I've ever seen. Uh, we'll go ahead and preserve... What? You can't pre Or maybe it's full. Let's say, I'm pretty sure you can preserve eggs. Yeah, you can preserve eggs. Uh, we don't really need that. Right. Oh, no, that one's full. I'm not getting any jerky. Let's take for freaking ever. Six hours, two hours, two hours, two hours. Huh. One hour. God, it's going to spoil before I get any jerky. Spark powder, oil, and cooked meat to make jerky. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong there. But let's make a Dodicarus saddle. That's what we're that's what we're gonna do to finish up this episode. Let's get the items. No, we're gonna keep the um, we're gonna keep these together. Oh, this is so awesome! I can't believe that. That's amazing. Well, we know an easy way to get that artifact. <laughs> uh, wait, what am I doing? Let's not do that. Let's. Throw this stuff on there. It might be handy. I can grab it in a pinch. 
I don't really need the arrows. I don't really want to save. I'll throw that away. I don't really want to save anything else here. Oh yeah, I built some smoke bombs. Holy cow, these are awesome. Check this out. Sorry, I'm really tired. Uh, what's a good place to smoke bomb? Let's just demonstrate it it's out the window here. Yeah, it's not really gonna. Oh, crap. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> okay. Let's spawn at the bed. That'll happen. That'll happen when you're not careful. Go get my body, because it has my good armor on it. Fell out over here. You probably don't need to see this, but I'll just show you how you recover yourself. Yep, there I am. Oh man, can I even get to that? I don't even know. Well, certainly not if you beating your wings all over it. Oh man, I don't even know. Go away. How do I tell you to go? I wish there was a go away command. There. There, you landed. Oh man, this is not good. Really? Did it have to do that? Did it honestly have to drop me right there? Shoot. Being super careful here. I'm gonna actually go prone. I feel like I shouldn't fall if I'm prone. Alright, take all. There we go. Let's equip the armor back up. Perfect. Let's, Let's take a look at me. Oh, oh, you're so dead. Let's not look at that. That's morbid. Let's end the crawl. Let's get back on Ash. There you go. That's how you recover, recover your silly, stupid mistakes. So that's not a good place for a smoke bomb. <laughs> Let's just throw it out in the field. You can see. Oh, that's so awesome. I didn't even mean to do that. Let's just show you what the smoke... Um, I swear I equipped in my armor. Did I not? Did I throw it? Oh, no. What did I do? Did I put it back on my body? It's like the fifth time I've done that. I think I'm equipping it and I'm actually sticking it back on the dead body. Ugh, really? Oh crap. Oh. Ah! No! <laughs> oh, good. This is why you build more than one bed. God, that's so annoying. And my Pteranodon's not there anymore. <sighs> okay. Let's go get the Argentavis. Good lord. Come on, Angel, let's fix this. Alright, so let's go get the first dead body, which has my... Okay, please don't knock me off. Okay. Let's get into the prone position. Make our way down this oh, horrifyingly steep thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. Hello, dead body. Please give me the armor so that I may live. Although I died whenever I fell with it. That's honestly a little bit surprising because it's... Oh, I put it on the dead body. Gosh dang it. How do you do this? All right, let me get out of the dead body inventory. Nope, go into my inventory. Where's the... Oh, dang it. All right, get, get me away from this thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, my armor is 3,329. That means that that fall damage either ignores armor or did more than 3,300. So it ignores the armor, basically. All right, let's go back down here, find my other dead body. Hello. Just populating the area with dead bodies. But you got to feed the native animals, so that's one way to do it. Wow, you're kind of small. I didn't realize how small I was. I guess I am kind of small. Yeah. Oops, got some meat. That's gross. I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to punch myself in the stupid head for being so stupid. Okay, let's get some, uh, let's get the Argentavis back in the pen. Okay, cool. Uh, where's Ash? Way over there, okay, I don't care. Um, let's try to build the Dodicarus saddle for the love of God, so I can end this episode. Hi! I know, you're just waiting patiently, I'm sorry. You need a name as well. Dodicarus saddle, probably not in the... Probably in the smithy. Dodicarus. Dodicarus. Oh, I need hide. I got plenty of hide. There you go. What did all that did I need? Uh, metal, stone, fiber, and eh, normal stuff. No surprise. I can build it. Well, that's fun. God, you take forever. 
I mean, it is a saddle, I guess. Should take a minute. All right, let's see this bad boy in action. Where did you go? Oh, it's still on wandering. Um, stop wandering. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, boom. I think the saddle looks pretty gnarly. Yeah, I like it. You know why? Because it like wraps around each of these spikes. That's cool, man. That's super cool. Oh, you're cute. You look like a pig. You got a little pot belly. Oh, you're a cutie. Nice, man. All right, let's ride this puppy. So that's the normal attack. Not bad. I don't think it. I don't think it has weight. Let me turn my. Yeah, my weight's maxed out. Um. Oh, it's because it has a bunch of stone on it. You know what? I can use that stone, actually. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing your job and harvesting stone. That's wonderful. Uh, I'm going to be using this for cementing paste. So that's going to go there. We'll just take it all. You don't really need wood and thatch on you. I'm sure you don't eat those things. We'll give you the berries in a second. So some chitin, chitin, whatever it's called. Got plenty of that from the cave where I killed the scorpions and spiders. There you go, 31, not bad. Not bad for not even trying. There we go, I'm a little bit quicker. Yeah, this one has severely boosted movement speed, as you can tell. But here's the cool thing, you ready? You ready, are you ready, are you ready, are you ready? Here we go. Oh, freaking A. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, that's fast, actually. Can I turn? I oh, can't turn. Okay. Oh, can you just go forever? Oh, look at the stamina gauge. Oh, this uses a lot of stamina. Still. Wow. That was far. That was from the base to here. And does the stamina recharge quickly? Not really. Not really. Okay, good to know. But you know what? If you were in a fight and you thought you were losing, you could just turn around. Well, it takes a while to turn and then peace out. That's awesome. I'm not going to lie. That's... Wait, where, wait, where am I? Am I in the middle? Or am I on the outside? I can't see. I wish I could slow down time. Huh. Is that, it's shaking the camera because I don't have any stamina. Interesting. So I need to boost stamina. Oh, I need to boost this guy. How do I do that? I need to kill stuff. Um... Let's head out to the beach. Maybe there's some, maybe there's, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Wow, this is like my new favorite thing to ride. I had no idea it'd be this awesome. Oh wow, look at my swimming speed. Can you attack underwater? You cannot, that's too bad. Cause this would be a shark slayer, man. This thing can swim. This thing can swim mega fast. Oh my god, it doesn't use its stamina when swimming? Wow. So, if you don't want to burn your stamina, then just get in the water. I don't think so, at least. Yeah, it doesn't attack, though. That's too bad. Alright, let's let it regain its stamina. The best way to do that is honestly just to hop off and have it follow me. Got some Dilos, some Dilos, some Dilos. Whatever you want to call them. We got a little thing here. I don't remember building this. Oh, look at that! Cementing paste! That's fun. Um, I don't have any more rocks. You could get me rocks though, couldn't you? You sure could. Alright, that full stamina already. Let's see if we can hurt it by... Nope. Okay. Good to know. Wait, I did hurt it when I came out. I missed. Flat out miss. Oh, that's awesome. It hits it way back. Oh, that was epic. Slapped it right in the face. Miss. Boom! And let's just see... Boom! I was trying to get a good angle on that. That was awesome. Fantastic. Alright, let's see it attack on its own. Redirect. Roll. Um, let's see. Can it... Can you go kill that in the water? I don't think so. It's just... I just gave it attack orders. Let's see what it does. It does nothing, apparently. What in the world? Hello, Dodicarus. <laughs> oh, it's going so fast. 
Look at this. Yeah. Oh no. It's going out to sea. Alright, let's get this guy to hate me. There we go. I had one arrow. I put it to good use. Alright, so he's going to come up on me, and then Dodicarus is going to come up on him. Nice. Boom. Look at it go. Oh, God, that's amazing. What in the world? What, what are you doing? Kill this freaking turtle. Here it comes, here it comes. Boom! It's such a... It's such a pimp slap. It's amazing. Dude, get off me. Honestly, you don't want any of my dodicarous. Boom! It still has the arrow in it. There we go. Uh, I should have probably let it kill it, because it would get more uh, experience that way. Alright, so we know that stamina is going to be a fun thing to have more of for the sake of, uh, probably weight too. But for the sake of rolling, I think stamina is the way to go. Oh, it looks like the Spino uh, disconnected there in the wall. That's good. Man, this thing's water movement speed is unbelievable. What is that? Is that a dead Pteranodon? Okay. Hopefully that's not one of mine. Oh, oh I got a Mesopithecus that got out. These guys get through the uh, holes um, in the fence. So if you plan on keeping some of these... Bear? What's bear? Oh, Giganto. Why are my creatures getting out? Don't do that. You're supposed to be in your home. Huh. That's a little concerning. I'm, I'm thinking that building the uh, the walls out of the windows was a problem. What I could do is build a little window door thingies. There's actually like window covers and cover up the bottom floor. That would probably fix it. Because I'm guessing that only the bottom floor would be the problem. But um, honestly, I don't really care. Like these creatures are so cheaty leveled that... Uh, I mean, look. 147. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Don't do it. Close the gates. Thank you. I'll probably get out anyway. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Did I close the front gate whenever I... I don't know that I did. I think I might have. That's so much fun. Okay, where am I? Seriously. I must be in the middle. That's weird, man. That Honestly, you'd be so dizzy coming out of that roll. You'd be crazy dizzy. Oh my god, I can roll forever. This is so much fun. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it to the end. I have another one. Oh, Frosted Flake's here. Hey, Frosted Flake. Are we mate boosted? We're not. I think they're both female. Um, let's ride Frosted Flake. Why not? Alright, are you... Let's give you a name. Uh, you're brown. I'll just call you Brownie. I'll call you, uh, something cute. Brownie Bite. And you can be free. Go have fun. He's like, yay, thanks! Um, okay, so you... I want you to stop, 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 stop. I want you to wear the saddle. Let's just see, what's your stamina looking like? Uh, 420. Not bad. Are y'all not wandering? I don't think you are. Uh, wandering and... Uh, oops. That's not what I wanted. Wandering. Okay, cool. Move, please. Oh, this one has terrible weight. Yeah, I don't think I want to ride Frosted Flake. Plus, do you have... Oh, you have stone on you, don't you? Can I walk if I carry that stone? I don't think I can. Hmm. Okay, well. It's cool that it harvests stone still. What was I going to grab that? And tell it to go away. Alright, so what I'd like to do is actually go get my Pteranodon, which is down here at the bottom since I fell off, uh, fell off and died a couple times. I think that's the end of the episode. Uh, let's just go back to bed. Actually, you don't need to watch me do that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, special episode we conquered holy god we conquered two caves <laughs> got two artifacts not bad uh we are you wandering you're just hanging out nope you're not wandering 
I was wondering if the Dimorphodons would actually, like, disappear on me if I set them to wander. I don't actually know the answer to that, so let's just see. Let's give you health and movement speed and melee damage and health. Mostly health. Yeah, maybe 500's enough. So melee damage. Yeah, why not? You're an attacker now. Oh, oh, really? Oh my god. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> we'll play again soon. Bye, guys.